We got to talk about the game of the day. Purdue, Illinois, double overtime in Champaign. The Boilermakers come out with a 96 to 88 win. Coach Prome, I am going to you first on this one. Winning on the road in league play. It's about as good as it gets as a coach. Uh, what do you make of Matt Painter's performance and the Purdue Boilermakers today? Yeah, phenomenal win. There's nothing better than winning a big road game uh, in conference play, almost halfway through conference play. They had to get this one today. If you looked at the way the standings were, Illinois could have gone to 7-0. and That would have been their third loss, and they would have put themselves in a tough situation to win a league championship. And the resiliency that they showed to go to overtime after leading six late, go to double overtime uh, and win that game, in Illinois, which is one of the toughest places to play when it's packed and it's loud and it's going, a huge win, a big character win. But I think the one thing Purdue showed today, and we all talk about Ivy and we talk about the two big kids, Edie and Williams, you know, Sasha Stefanovic, 20, uh, 22 points, makes five threes. He was a big difference maker. And you heard Brad say it after the game that, you know, they kind of lost him, made big threes for them. Um, I think the depth of Purdue with their front court and their wings is huge. And then they got big minutes today from Eric Hunter, 31 minutes off the bench, made big free throws late. I know people talk about their point guard play, but uh, I think that was really good to see Eric Hunter. But they're tough. They're resilient. I know they've struggled on the defensive end a little bit, but they go to Illinois. They out-rebound them by seven. They hold a good shooting Illinois team to 41% from the field. Hey, hey, Jeff, you want to know how uh, Steve Prohm is a coach? The guys that he gives credit to are not the stars of the team. He's got to shout out Eric Hunter, and he's got to shout out <laughs> Sasha Stefan. Roll guys. You got to keep them all happy. You got to try your best to keep them all happy. Yeah, so. no, I get it. I yeah. get it. But but honestly, I still think when you get down to it, the biggest key to the game was making sure Kofi Coburn was on the bench and not on the court. Yeah. And Zach Eady was able to do that. Purdue was able to do it with their penetration. Um, certainly Jaden Ivey on, on Kofi's fourth foul, got him out of the game there, driving to the basket. I, I just felt like, again, Purdue has equalizers for Kofi as well. Zach Eadie showed that early. I mean, there aren't many Zach Eadies on, the, on this planet, number one. And then when you take him out, you bring on a much better offensive player, maybe as skilled a low post scorer as there is in the entire country and Travion Williams. So I thought, that duo just gives Kofi something that he has never seen before. Well, if you look at the minutes, you know, it's 22 minutes for Kofi and some of it was foul trouble, but it's like the two headed monster going at one guy. And I think at, at, whether it's foul trouble or fatigue, that's going to wear on you. And like Matt Painter touched on that we'll hear in a little bit is it's two totally different styles of play when you're going against Edie and you're going against Williams. Yeah. And the biggest thing with Illinois offensively is if you can nullify Kofi Coburn one-on-one, -on -one, they kind of become a little bit limited, right? Their offense is kind of built around this idea. We're going to force you to double team or we're going to let Kofi go one-on-one -on -one in the post and he's going to get a bucket. When you have someone that can keep him from getting a bucket every time he touches the ball, that changes things, which brings me to the return of Jeff Goodman's preseason first team, all American point guard, Andre <laughs> Carvello. Back. 20 points, six assists, uh, had some, ha had a turnover, uh, made some really bad plays defensively down the stretch that that yeah. might have cost we got I think we got the full Andre Corbello experience tonight Jeff what, what did you make of his return to the lineup yeah, yeah but it was a, it was a heck of a lot better than anybody expected after being out mm -hmm. for two months that's what I'll say is like Corbello made an impact on the game I wasn't sure you weren't sure Steve wasn't sure that he was going to be able to do that after being gone this long and the last time we saw him he was atrocious and, and he had that concussion and obviously it it really affected him because he hasn't been on the court so long. But to me, if Illinois wants to make a deep run and make a final four run, you have to have Andre Curbelo not only playing, but being effective, playing a little more under control. And now you've got him back here. You've got him back with enough time that he can hopefully learn from some of these mistakes. Brad can kind of teach him again. Listen, last year, his role wasn't what it's going to be this year or what it, what it was expected to be this year. So I think this was a great sign for Illinois, and I do think that they have the pieces to make a Final Four run. Yeah, I think just with Curbelo, if they don't have Curbelo today with Kofi getting in foul trouble, and if you followed Illinois all season long with Curbelo out, when Kofi's out of the game, 
They've struggled to score at times. They've struggled to be able to make plays for each other at times. I'm a big fan of the senior guards, Williams and Trent Frazier, just their character, their toughness, their leadership, uh, their ability to win games. But I just think Corbello, if they didn't have Corbello today, it doesn't go to double overtime. It doesn't go to overtime. I think Purdue wins, you know, double figures, maybe 10, 12 points or so. But Corbello was huge. Obviously, a couple defensive mistakes late. They hurt him with a couple back screens. He was involved with a couple times. But, man, he made some great, great tough plays around the rim. But he's the one guy offensively that can really cause defenses to get in rotation. Yeah, he's the one guy that's a game breaker. For them offensively and I, I don't think they, they really have it the same thing can kind of be said about Purdue and, and we're going to get to this interview uh, with Matt Painter here in one second but um, Jaden Ivey is the guy that can kind of be that game breaker and we had a chance to ask coach Painter about his impact and I think you guys are going to be really interested to hear uh, what his answer is so let get, let's get into that interview with Matt Painter here now 